Hey you guys, it's Moonlander back with another horror movie review. And today we're going to be taking a look at The Girl with All of the Gifts. And this movie is based on a book by M.R. Carey. And it's uh, about a fungus that infects people and makes them into zombies. Okay, so this movie started out pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, it starts off and it's showing you they have these children that are, like, in between fully infected and actually being normal children. And, uh, they're using them, uh, in experiments to try to find a cure. And there's a doctor played by Glenn Close, and she, uh you know, is using them to basically develop a, a vaccine or, uh, you know, to reverse the fungal infection. And the main character of the story is a young girl who, you know, wants to be normal, but she's very self-aware of her, uh, you know, zombie infection. And uh, she makes great she becomes infatuated with her teacher the the teacher uh, has developed strong feelings for her as well so she feels very protective of her now they're at a military compound and all, everybody there understands the threat of these children except for the teacher you know she uh, you know, her heart just won't let her treat them like a zombie, you know what I mean? Because they have personalities, they can think, but they also <laughs> can be mindless, hungry zombies as well. And this compound gets overrun, and the teacher and Glenn Close's character and some soldiers escape. And they're trying to make their way back to, you know, main military installation, you know, so they can survive. But they have to travel through, I believe it's London they go through. Um, I don't think it was actually filmed there, but that's what the story is. Now, this movie started off, you know, it sent really interesting and... Um, the, when the compound gets overtaken by zombies, it was pretty exciting, and there was some pretty good action in it. Um, there was a part where the main character, the little girl, was running by some buildings, and uh, there was like stray bullets hitting the buildings because people are fighting everywhere. You know, then nobody's really worried about where they're shooting because they're being overrun. I thought like some of the little details in the action uh, were were really good. I, like I, you know, those little details kind of make it more real, and uh, you know, it just is much more exciting. I think, but <laughs> unfortunately, that compound being overrun is about the only action you really get in this movie, and. From there on out, it's more of a drama, you know, it's more about the soldiers that escape, um, you know, developing relationship with the child and the child, you know, showing, you know, she's human and it's hard to just think of her as a zombie. And uh, one interesting fact about the movie is apparently Glenn Close's sister-in-law is a huge zombie movie fan. And they allowed her to play as an extra as a zombie in this movie. And I thought that was cool. And I will say, I, I did like Glenn Close in this movie. I thought she did a good job. And, you know, her character was interesting you know, there's a scene where they're walking amongst the zombies because they're not alerted unless there's a loud noise or, you know, movement. And so they could walk amongst the zombies. And there was a woman pushing a stroller. And she put her foot in front of the stroller because she'd never seen 
one of the zombies that was a full-blown zombie actually shows signs of you know like the thought to push a baby carriage and uh, yeah of course the zombies end up becoming alerted because of it but she just did it out of her curiosity I found her character to be the most interesting and I thought she played it well. Now this is definitely not my kind of zombie story and you know without giving the ending away I, I found the ending to be disgusting basically I mean I felt offended. This is not for me and I don't think this movie is for uh, you know your average horror movie fan it's mostly just a story and character driven movie which could be fine but when the story's like about a child I, I don't know why I find just something a little obnoxious about it and this is definitely fits one of those kind of obnoxious like you know child kind of stories uh, I, I don't know I just did not care for it the zombie infection is from a fungus and um, it kind of reminded me of the story of the last of us but you know nowhere near as good in my opinion it, looking at this guy's books in the store I, I wouldn't buy them myself but Unless somebody like highly suggested them to me, I, I just wouldn't read this guy. But um, that aside, uh, the his book, The Girl with All the Gifts, had a lot of good reviews. So, um, you know, I'm just giving you my opinion on this movie and story. I, it, it's not for me. I didn't like it. And by the end of it, I felt offended. <laughs> I felt tricked into watching an exciting zombie movie. And, you know, uh, after watching The Train to Busan, you know, I thought, hey, maybe there are some good zombie movies out there. And here I go watching this one, and I, I was disappointed. I, I did not like it. I, I just don't suggest this movie at all. Four out of ten. And uh, I had to rent this movie on Amazon Prime for $6.99. So, you know, it's pretty new. I think it said it was released in January of this year. Well, Alright, you guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next review. <laughs>